Susan Waters from Exceeding Joy. Our scripture this week is Ephesians 6, verse 14 to 17. And as I read it in three different translations, just think about it and meditate on it and really be prayerfully considering how God wants to uh, use this in your life this week as we study it throughout the week. The first translation is the New King James Version, and it says, Stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. The next one is from the Amplified Bible. So stand firm and hold your ground, having tightened the wide band of truth, personal integrity and moral courage around your waist and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and upright heart and having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace in preparation to face the enemy with firm-footed stability and the readiness produced by the good news. Above all, lift up the protective shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. And the last translation is the good news. So stand ready with truth as a belt tight around your waist with righteousness as your breastplate and as your shoes, the readiness to announce the good news of peace. At all times, carry faith as a shield. And for with it, you will be able to put out all the burning arrows shot by the evil one. And accept salvation as a helmet. And the word of God as a sword which the Spirit gives you. Now, if you haven't signed up for my YouTube channel, go on my website, exceedingjoy.com, and sign up. You can go in through there to YouTube and sign up so that you can make comments, ask questions, request prayer. I would love to hear how you're doing on your challenges or if there's a, an area that you would like me to teach on. So, bless you as you think about and pray about God's word to you this week. We'll see you tomorrow.